Travis, welcome to my channel. My name is Maggie. And if it's your first time here, thank you so much for tuning in. Kindly consider clicking on that subscribe button, like, comment, and share. As I said earlier, we do, if you've been here actually, we, I, I am a content creator based here in Nairobi, Kenya. I do cooking travel and the lifestyle videos mostly so yeah if you like the vibes kindly subscribe here this is the place so yeah but we as well do hauls actually it's everything good in between so yeah it has been a minute actually i've never done like a sit down video like talking to you guys about a specific topic or a specific thing apart from the videos that i do yes they are sit but uh, I review products, maybe it was a Kamukunji shopping haul or at boys, like the one we did previously. But we've never like talked about a certain topic. So yeah, today I said I'll try. Now, the reason that made me come up with this topic, it's because I realized in my um, YouTube, YouTube studio, that is common for creators, but it's where you analyze your how your videos are doing on YouTube or all about your viewers or about where you're getting views, the age blackets uh, that are watching you. And I realized that the age gap that actually follow me or watch me, like the bigger percent, it's the age between 18 to around 28. 28 to around 30 like the bigger percent so yeah that's why i came up with this topic because i am also a youth so yeah and we i know maybe the challenges i may be facing are the challenges that you guys are facing like youths like me now such videos when people decide decide to create such videos like i am doing it's not all about views all the money that you get but it's all about maybe inspiration or motivation that someone can get from you it may be it may not get as much engagement or much views or much likes but at some point it may help someone someone somewhere who is stuck with life and they don't know where to start or what to do or how who to talk to and that's where i am here now i can former is it currently finished my um, college studies and i know most of my viewers are at the situation that i am now we were used to I actually finished my school and I collected my results and I have passed. I thank God for for that. And maybe, oh, but I'm yet to graduate. I I will definitely take you through maybe my graduation vlog or video later. It's about months away. So yeah, my topic today is all about how is life after school, how is life after campus, how is life after college. How do you deal with maybe lack of job, lack of even internship? You know, guys, internship, yes, it's free. You are not even being paid. You are going there to work, to use your energy, your time, and you're not even paid. But getting it, it's totally a difficult thing. So yeah, these are some of the things that you're going to tackle today. And I hope that it will help you guys or help someone out there. Now, what are the important things that you're supposed to do after you've completed school studies? Maybe you are doing a certain career. Yes, I, maybe you've not gotten work or career related job that you want. What are the several points or several things that you are supposed to do now how do you transist from being a student who, who is being offered everything pocket money is it pocket money upkeep money maybe rent maybe your food transport 
bus fare, school fees, to an adult, to an adult who is now supposed to look for a job, look for money, and take care of themselves. Wow, it feels like a dilemma, honestly, because <laughs> it's not even easy. I know it's not easy. And then you're supposed to do that. Like, you see when our parents maybe take you to school, they expect immediately you are done with school, you're supposed to be working. You're supposed to have money and take care of yourself and buy your own clothes. Maybe even move out. <laughs> Moving out is not even a joke, you guys. Like, you are going to be depending on yourself. Yes. No, guys. How do you um, deal with that change? Because to many of us, feels like a dream. Yes. Now, these are some of the points that you're supposed to to have in mind or to to keep for yourself, or they should be guiding you on how to keep on with life. Now. I know most of us are struggling with um, looking for jobs. Now I'm here to, to let you know you have to stay calm. Don't be harsh on yourself. Just uh, be calm. It shall be fine, definitely. Now, without uh, talking too much, I didn't know I can talk this much. I've never done this. <laughs> now, without uh, taking much time, let's jump into, into the points or into the important uh, points that may help you out to deal with that life in between. Now, the first thing is positivity. Positive minds, positive energy, positive everything, positive mindset. So, yeah, you may, you may delay or your career job may delay, even your internship may delay, but something that you are supposed to have is positive mindset. Positivity is everything. Now, maybe positivity may help you to keep going, keep you looking for job, keep you applying those emails, <laughs> keep you going for those interviews, In, even if you are turned down for your just talk negative things, but positivity will help you out in many ways. The second thing, yeah, they are, they are going to be as shallow and as quick and short as possible for everyone to understand and for everyone to swallow. Yes. The second thing is networking. Now, for those of you who are in my country, Kenya, you know what it means to, when I talk about networking or knowing someone, or how is it called connection yes that's the one that i was looking for now you may not be having that work but you may know someone who may connect you to that job you may have a relative who may connect you to that job you may have a friend you may have um just know someone networking is now in our country we say connection nowadays are even better than papers that's crazy, but it's true. Like, you will see someone who has no papers, but they're doing a well paying job. But when you ask for their papers, because they just knew someone who connected them to their destiny. No, when you're maybe jobless or something, you're supposed to have a network or communicate with your relative, or maybe you know someone working in a big office. You may even start like just a normal casual worker or something that's the second thing that i know and i know it has helped a lot of people a lot of youths outside so just know someone who may maybe may connect you or may refer you to somewhere maybe an interview maybe an internship maybe even a job the third thing is build a strong social media presence now, nowadays in this generation or in this era that you're living, like every, everything has changed to online, like everything is online. That's where you'll find people posting job opportunities, posting interns are needed, 
interviews, like everything, almost everything. Now, I know most of us, starting from age even 18 to 28 or even 30, everyone is in on social media, be it Instagram, be it Facebook, be it TikTok, especially that's where most of us are stuck, like most of the youths are stuck. You will see people um, making videos, creating content, and doing so. Uh, for instance, this there's this app called Link, LinkedIn. That's where most of people post job opportunities. Now, when you're jobless and you are youth, you have to be on social media. Because I know um, several people who saw something posted concerning interviews, concerning jobs, uh, internships, through uh, several apps, like the one I mentioned earlier, like the LinkedIn. Others find them on Instagram, maybe Facebook, maybe uh, TikTok. No, you you have to be there. You have to be there. So that, 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 that thing. Yes. Before we move to that, you see that online presence, that's where a lot of employees uh, look for potential uh, candidates. Like when they want to recruit someone, they have to post somewhere or just use social media platforms to pass the message. If they need an employee, if they need um, interns or trainees, that's what they use. Yes, so you must be there. Everyone now has a smartphone, so you don't have like, um, you can't say that you won't be there or you don't have Wi-Fi or bundles, but you are in TikTok, <laughs> watching dancing video. Oh, you just need to be there. You can just find uh, job opportunities in those apps. Now, the next thing, I think it's the fifth point. You have to enhance your skills. Like for instance, you've done um, hospitality and you, you, you have been just doing the school, the normal school, maybe practicals or the the exams now before you look for that job before you you look you are looking forward to be employed are your skills perfect can you bake and decorate a cake can you cook can you serve correctly can you can you just work on your skills before you you decide maybe to to look for a job or you are in that period of waiting or of applying jobs and stuff now work on your skills perfect your skills so that when you will be offered that job you will be able to handle you'll be able to work without struggles or anything let's move to the sixth one um, internship and volunteering now this is where we draw the line i know you want to be employed but you don't want to work for someone, uh, for you to gain experience, is that even possible? I don't think. Yes, it's not. It's not even possible because most of these companies, most of these big companies, want someone who has experience. You will all also find them like when they have written the qualification that they need below those qualifications. Uh, they usually write like two years of experience. Now, if you don't want to go for an internship, volunteering work, <laughs> do you think you will qualify for that work? Definitely no. So you have to go for internship. Yes, and volunteer for you to sharpen your skills again and to increase your chances to employment. So you will need that um, internship to increase your professional network. So maybe you'll be working in a certain company and someone um, will see your, your, your determination, your hard work, and maybe they will even refer you somewhere else. So yeah, you have to do that inter internship, girl, boy. <laughs> For maybe, in most companies, they're done that. For maybe three months, because I remember mine I did for three months. But other institutions you will do for six months, for nine months. Yes, it depends on your course, on your career. And maybe the company that you're working for or the institution that you're working for. So yeah, it's 
it varies. Next one, always be open-minded. Now, you've done a certain career and um, chances of getting that job are very low. Honestly, because some of the courses that we are offered in college or in universities end up being, is it useless or I don't know the perfect word to use for that, but some of the courses you will never no, I don't want to be to discourage anyone here, but it's the fact. Maybe you've done a certain career and you don't see yourself even working in that, or you don't even see chances of uh, you getting employed on that career. So now, what are you supposed to do? For instance, maybe you've done uh, IT and maybe your job. No, but. IT, I don't think you will delay <laughs> because those guys get employed really fast. No, you've done a certain a career and you don't see yourself there for even the rest of your life. And there's another job opportunity that, that is well paying, even if you, it doesn't align with your career or with your passion, but it's paying. Why not grab that opportunity before you get your career job? So that's what I mean, like, just be open-minded. Off to the next point. And I think it's going to be our last point. Learn to handle critics. Learn to handle critics. Now, you're done with school. You did a certain, a certain course for maybe three or even four years, and you're at home. And people are, like... Oh, you went to school, you can't find a job, what do you want with your life? No, you must learn how to handle them or even to ignore them because no one can dictate your life, no one is supposed to do so. So you learn to handle them or even to ignore them. Now, story time. This, this time, should I give or should I wait for the another sit down story? <laughs> story video there's a certain time I went for an interview in a certain establishment and they were like wow do you will you be working with your head wrap on and I said yes and definitely I felt as if it was a criticism why am I not supposed to work with my head wrap on like why? Hmm? But I ignored that. Now you may find such critis criticism. <laughs> I almost lost my time. So yeah, you must handle them. Hmm? Imagine maybe I uh, I felt bad, but I said I'm not ready to deny my faith or to betray my faith because of you, hmm? because of this job. No, no way. Thank you for the opportunity. Yes, and I left. <laughs> so you must learn how to handle such criticism from your even your family, your churchmates, your friends, your aunts. So yeah, I hope the few points help someone who is stuck or felt solo or felt like giving up. I hope you you are okay and your one point or another will help you you will get inspired and motivated to keep and move on with life so yeah now uh love is i think i have come to end of this podcast <laughs> i um and i hook up with my next topic Maybe we'll, we we will be having a series. Not quite sure, but maybe when you are not employed, what are you supposed to do? Maybe it should be my next video. Or yes. So if you you watch to this point, kindly subscribe, like, comment, and share. Now, uh, I just realized from my analytics that most people watch with my videos. Um, and don't like them or they watch and they have not subscribed. Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? <laughs> Kindly, I know when 
you you see guys when you comment or if you like uh, YouTube will notice that there are some engagements in my videos and they will push my videos up and maybe they, it will be recommended to many people so guys consider subscribing like liking comments and share with friends bye